Howdy, y'all. Actually, I'm going to stop there because there is more, more to that. I do have more to it, but um, I want to get back to why I started doing this in the first place and talk about a few things. Uh, I started doing this in the first place and because I needed something to do with my hands. My brain was gone for doing IT work. I, they broke it. It was gone. I couldn't do it. For me, working with my hands is like my savior. It's what I do. I have to work with my hands. Um, fixing things, creating things, whatever. I have to do something that keeps me sane. Um, when I started all of this, what I was doing was working on guitars, and that's still what I would like to do. Um, give me a second, I'll expand on that more. But uh, when I, wh what I was doing was uh, I was trying to actually get better at just playing riffs because all the other people that I've been watching on YouTube, their channels have been like, okay, well, I know how to work on guitars. I know how to do this. And then they would actually play something so that you could hear it. I suck. I mean, I know that, and that's why I started doing this and why it actually started getting bigger and bigger because I kind of, I think I lost focus a little bit, actually, is what I did. So um, it was all about, you know, the riff a day for a while, and that was because I wanted to learn something. I wanted to get better at least at other people's stuff so you could recognize what I was playing, but that you could also hear what was happening with the guitars that I was working on so that you could hear the tones and the sounds and how things were improving and how things were because I, I I do suck at playing the guitar so one of the things that I logically thought of with you know they took away my brain for IT work but the logical part is still kind of there so all I was doing was trying to follow a logical path it doesn't work for me a lot these days but I was trying to follow that and this is taking a really long time to expand and you guys have just been witness to all of it and I'm still following that logical path the logical path for me to get better at to get there was to you know do the riff a day did that thing, and then I started playing other people's stuff and then I think I just lost focus on all that and um, I need to get back to that uh, some of the things that I've been working on recently are well I I really do have this this dream of, of doing this nonprofit thing where I find or get guitars, you know, old, forgotten, uh, even like seconds from a big manufacturer. If you got stuff that you're just like, yeah, man, we can't sell this. If you want to fix it so it's playable, you can have it. But, you know, we ain't going to do crap with it. And I'll take those. I'll take whatever. You know, I'll take a board with a couple of nails and some wires between it. We'll see if we can make it work. But um, that's what I wanted to do, not play guitar and be a musician. Um, the only way I could market myself on everything around was by saying that I was a musician because they don't have I want to be a charity for giving uh, fixing up and giving guitars to underprivileged kids the, there actually is no such thing so I'm going to have to create my own um, and all that I'm thinking well you know I I like where I live and all that and I like the laid back Washington State thing and and uh, I really do want to go out to like one of the islands or something, but what are you looking for? And what I'm looking for is I would love the view, the view of the water or something, um, or a pond or a lake or, you know, yeah, my own pond would be freaking awesome. But, uh, you know, being on a lake, that would be cool, but it tends to be more expensive. And, and what I'm looking for is, you know, a place that's a little bit out of the way where not too many people would mind a little bit of loud music every once in a while. Um, where uh, you can have like outbuildings and such so that I could have a place to live, a place to work, a place to, you know, all that other stuff. Um, and I'm thinking my mom's old house in Vermont where she used to live in Newport Center. Uh, she hasn't lived there no more. She hasn't lived there for a long time. But um, the house was awesome. Um, and they had a garage, uh, a detached garage. Everything in Vermont seems to be detached garages. Um, and... Uh, Above it, they, there was like an unfinished space that would have been awesome for a workshop uh, and all that other good stuff. So I started looking around and, hey, maybe I'll move back to the East Coast. Uh, I can get a place over there for way less. I could sell this place. Um, 
buy one outright over there so I don't have to worry about a mortgage. And then if I am able to get on disability, then just live on my early retirement. So I am seriously starting to consider all this stuff. Um, I want to do the charity thing. Uh, I want a nice place to live. Um, for me, nice places to live consist of roofs over my head, uh, heat and stuff. Um, so, you know, you make you make it what you, you nice for yourself. So I need a, a good foundation. And uh, to me, older houses have always been that way, too. And, you know, the one I, that I found that you know, my mom was going to take a drive by, uh, it uh, was built in 1830. So, you know, to me, those have always been more solid than uh, newer construction, too. To me, they've always been a better place to live and more... I don't know, it seems more like a, a home. Maybe it's because I grew up with, you know, in an area where that's all you get is you, you, the newer construction. They have to tear something down that was built between, you know, 15, whatever. And it, after the turn of the century, the last turn of the century, like 1900, that's when they stopped, you know, that's when everything started getting filled up so they couldn't build anymore. And uh, now everything has to be either a tear down or you redo what is already there. And I'm just so used to the older stuff and i like the older stuff you know so um maybe it's a sign i don't know i don't know any of this but uh figured i'd say hey and uh, i don't really have much but i do want to keep relevant and let y'all know what's going on and this channel really was started for <laughs> I think I've been thinking a little bit too much while I've been playing and I gotta stop doing that again too so um, I just uh, there's possibilities out there and I think I'm excited about them but these are things that I just never thought of before and, and it's like almost like God saying yo man why don't you go and do this stuff it's time I'm listening it is Sunday God's day Always look up. I'll see you then. Peace.